Alright, what's up guys? Wild Blimps here. Um, this is gonna be part four of the Let's Play Skyrim series on my channel. Um, so what's happened so far, like, was, um, like in, last, in the last episode, was I was gonna go to Riverwood, but I got sidetracked a little bit, because I did Ember Shard Mine, which is, like, kind of like an easy dungeon to do at level one, and I got myself a temporary like house slash like place to just store my extra stuff up there that I just left called Anise's cabin you can either watch part three or like look it up or something like there's probably um some other stuff on it and, like online but right now I'm on before the storm and I'm heading to Riverwood to speak to Girder yeah Riverwood's not too far down this road oh. Hold on. Okay, got my war hammer and all right, I'm ready. So. As I said in the previous, in like the some of the previous episodes, that like spiders and skeletons are some of the easiest things to kill in Skyrim, like as far as enemies go. Like wolves are up there too. Like those are one of those things you don't need to worry about, unless you're getting like swarmed with like a pack of like six of them. But other than that. Everyone stares as the guy named Big Forehead enters the small mill town. They judge him almost instantly, seeing that his forehead wraps around his head, but they know that they have to be nice because he is a level, not one, a level one, but level two. Yeah. Okay, so... I go speak to Girder. Oh hi, Fane doll. Okay. The Imperials ambushed us outside Darkwater Crossing. New to Riverwood? If you're looking for work, go see Hod at the Mill. Two days ago now. We stopped in Helgen this morning. Of course. Here's the key to the house. Stay as long as you like. If there's anything else you need, just let me know. Okay. Oh, what's this all about? What are you two doing here? And take everything, because you can. A dragon? In Helgen? It can't be. Although, it would explain what I saw earlier. Flying down the valley from the south. I thought I must have just been seeing things. It was a dragon. I don't know why, but I actually believe you. You've got the look of someone who's just seen a dragon. Yeah. Things just go from bad they all to have worse. Big foreheads. First the war, now dragons. What's this world coming to? The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Valgruf in Whiterun to send whatever troops he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. The cowards! They would dare give over something. Okay, so... For your own let's see, talk to the Jarl of Whiterun. But first, I'm also going to show you guys another thing that you can do just while you're in Riverwood. Like... You might think I'm like kind of side being like sidetracked and stuff, but this is actually really useful stuff. So, talk Did to Fandal. Riverwood's agreeable enough, and I suppose. You'll now see he'll go on village? like little rants about Sven. So just ask him about Sven. He's a bard, so he says. Occasionally, he finds time to do his job here at the mill. Thinks his ballads and sonnets are going to convince Camilla Valerius to marry him, as if she would say yes. 
An intelligent, beautiful woman like her wouldn't fall for that nonsense. I hope. You're right. I don't need your jokes right now. But maybe you have a point. Maybe Camilla needs some help seeing Sven for what he is. Could you... Could you give her this letter and say it's from Sven? I think I've matched that Nord's lack of cleverness perfectly. Alright, I mean... Farewell. Like, so... As far as this quest goes, you have two options. You can go, yeah, so you can give the letter to Camilla Valerius. Hold on, I'm just going to activate it. So, or you can go tell Sven what's like that Feindal is doing this. But to do what I'm trying to explain, you need to give the letter to Camilla. Or Camille, well, I don't know. Yeah, so. Alright, you come in here. Well, one of us has to do something. Um, speak to I her. No. Maybe you no could talk I have a letter for you from Sven. Brother. Another poem, I bet. He does know how to make a girl blush. What's this? If that oaf thinks all I'm going to do is stay in that filthy house of his and clean, I'll... You can tell Sven that he already has a mother. I'm not speaking to him anymore. All right, and now the deed is quote unquote done. So now you go and speak to Feindal. All right, where are you? Oh, hey, I inspect Feindal to have that nice of a house. It's actually pretty decent. Actually, first, I'm gonna. S er, never mind, it's auto saving. Yeah, I was just gonna say I should save because I haven't saved in a while, but. Tell me as soon as you've given Camilla the letter. Riverwood's agreeable, and I appreciate your help. Please, take this. Some gold I've saved up from working at the mill. Alright, this gold is nothing amazing. It's 25 gold, but now he can be Lead your follower. Way. And. Alright, so. I'm coming down here, and like, first. You're gonna need to get a pretty decent amount of money, like at least like 500 gold ish, something like that. Like you're gonna need to get like a like a good amount of money for this. But honestly, once you get to this point in the game, you should have a lot of money or be able to sell stuff and get a lot of money. Okay. I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader is still the Riverwood right. Trader is did everything you happen? needed. Uh, yeah, we, we did have a bit of a, a break in. We still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing: an ornament, solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. You could. I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw. Which. Back. That'll come into play in a little bit. Get the... Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Alright. So, now go down to your inventory. Sell all the stuff that you're not going to use. Because it's no use having it in your inventory. So I'm keeping the bow. Selling all the steel stuff. Um, steel the... Alright, yeah. Foot wraps. This stuff is just to get out of my inventory. All right, Imperial Light Armor. Iron Boots of Resist Fire. That's, yeah, they're the same, so. Iron Helmet, sell that. Novice Hood, Novice Robes. Yeah, I don't use, I'm not gonna use one-handed, so the minor wielding doesn't matter to me. Um, sell that, get rid of that, that. Oh, I drove him broke. All right, and then other than this, you're not going to really have that much money. Like you're not going to, there's not that much left that you'd probably have to sell. But still, now that I have a thousand gold, I'll show you a little trick. I'm right behind. So can you train me to be better archer? I'll show you what I know. Um, 
Alright, train. So, this brings your skill up to that point, and then you gotta go down to, I need to trade some things with you, you because you can carry? trade stuff back and forth, have them hold your stuff. So, now you can take the gold, you can take the gold back, so you never, in this is like a repeating process, you just I'll show you what train I know. and take the gold back until, yeah, just as much as you want, because this guy can train you in archery, and the only thing is that he's a journeyman trainer, I'll show you which what means I that he's only going to be able to, what do you want me to carry? Yeah, that, that means that he's only able to, um, what is it? Yeah, he can only train you to, like, skill level of 50. What do you want me to carry? Oh, whoops, I accidentally clicked that twice. I'll show you what I know. Okay, now. What do you want me to carry? Alright, yeah, you guys get the idea. I'm not gonna be that on? cheap with this, like, just if I really want to increase in skill or something, I'll just do that. But, yeah, you guys kind of get the gist of it, though. We have to go. Okay, so, stamina. Okay, now I'm actually going to increase skill, so... And I'm gonna get into smithing pretty soon, so um, I'm gonna do steel smithing. And I'm gonna try to make some steel armor. Okay. I'm gonna save right here because I don't want to get in trouble for taking the steel ingots. I don't think anyone would see me, especially because it's nighttime. But. Oh, Fain Doll can see me. Alright. I don't think anyone saw. So. I'm actually gonna. Yeah, I'll wait till morning. Okay, so now, now that it's morning, Alvor should be out here any, like, any minute now. Hold on. Hmm. I don't know, actually. Oh, there he is. You look like a traveler. Ain't Can every day we forge? get this. I see no harm. The grindstone will improve if you've got the wrong. All right, let's just wait for him to walk over to his shop to make something new, and then we'll be able to sell stuff to him or buy stuff from him for this. Whatever you you looking for a new blade? Alright, I'm actually gonna just try to make some leather strips for now. I might actually have enough to make um at least some steel stuff. Actually, wait, no, I forgot. I need iron ingots for steel, too. I okay, now I can buy this. stuff from it. Take a look. Oh, well, 51 iron ingots. I don't need that much. Okay. I'm gonna need five, I think. And now... Oh, whoops. Steel ingots. I'm gonna take them all. Now I'm pretty broke, but still, mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be worth it. Oh, wait a second. This stuff looks cooler, so. No, 
not too shabby. A French metal word. Um, I'm gonna make my war hammer. Um, alright, steel armor, steel. No, I'm doing the steel horned helmet because I look, I would look cool with that. Um, steel Nordic gauntlets. Steel cuffed boots. Okay. Now I'll just quickly equip it. Improve my war hammer. So now it's much stronger than the iron one. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna sell all this stuff back. I could have more money right now, but mm -hmm. mon like I, I don't really care much about money in this game. All right, so now I can use the workbench to improve my stuff as long as you have the steel ingots. So I'm gonna do improve my armor and my helmet. And now. Still, my forehead is not visible, but I will find a way around it. Okay, I think I'm going to end the part here. Next part, we're going to set off to White Run and talk to the Jarl. But for now, I'll see you guys later. And yeah, if you have any questions, just post it in the comments.